Cigar Pals, <clears throat> right here today, or in here today, got the can, the back open up out here, um, but uh, we're doing, we're smoking King of Solomon, this is by um, Lucky Cigars, who the heck are Lucky Cigars, don't ask me, I've tried to do research on them, but anyhow, here's a cigar that goes in that too, nice pretty Solomon wrapper, or Solomon shape. Got that artistic design on it. I don't know what they call that. <laughs> but, uh, anyhow, torpedo top. On the uh, cold draw, I'm getting a cedar and uh, dark chocolate and some nuts in there. So, uh, let's get with the show and cut this thing. Got that torpedo type cap on her or yeah and I'm gonna cut that with my V cutter that's the best thing to cut them with when you got this type of uh, a uh, cigar it's rough doing these things in the morning but I like to smoke first thing in the morning and I want to get a review out so this is what we do mm-hmm that cedar, that dark chocolate, and the nuttiness, and I'm tasting the same thing I'm smelling. Mm -hmm. This I got a new camera, so I'm learning how to use it, or trying to. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, right. let's. Uh, really can't do much with that toasting. Some people will cut that up with a straight cut guillotine cutter, but I've always pretty much done it this way. Um, I kind of get a kick out of watching it burn into itself. Um, earth. That cedar has a nuttiness in there and a bit of a chocolate. I don't know if it's as rich as it was on the thing here, but yeah, hey, we'll smoke it a while. See how it works out. I, uh, you'll see me reaching. I, there's a remote control for this thing. I don't have it yet. I've got it ordered, so. For now, I'm reaching over. We'll be back. All right, cigar pals, we're about an inch in, and we're just, uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm still getting the cedar. There's a chocolate. It's not a dark chocolate. It's just some kind of chocolate in the background and a nuttiness. And then there's a, um, the pepper starting. There's a pepper coming on in there and uh, starting to play in the mix. So... And when I come back, I'm going to tell you a story about how I found it, how everything that happened to get me to this cigar. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to tell you right now. So, I'm over at the PCA, Premium Cigar Association Trade Show, and I'm walking around the night before, and this girl comes walking by me and she says, King Cigars, King Cigars, they're the best. And I looked around and I said, really? Now we got placentia here. We, 
We got a Fuente here. Um, we got Dav, or we didn't have David off. We had Steve Sockas, Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, uh, E.P. Carrillo, and Lucky Cigar, who I'd never heard of. The girls telling me they're the best. I'm like, hmm, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> so I didn't think much about it, you know, but the next day I was uh, walking around the trade show and sure enough I run across these guys. And I got talking to this girl about their cigars, and I saw they had this lucky, uh, this uh, King Solomon, right? And I'm like, I have one of those. She said, Really? I said, Yeah. Well, there was my mistake. I shouldn't have told her I had one because then I uh, didn't get a free one. <laughs> but she gave me another one. She said, I, I said, Yeah, I have one to review. I'm so I'm going to review it. And the way I got the cigar. When I was at the boxcar, which is uh, pr just my, I think my last post before this one, uh, the boxcar cigars in, um, uh, I forget the name of the town off the top of my head, but um, when I was at their, their shop, I asked the, my famous question, I always ask, hey, what's your most uh, complex cigar? And uh, he with a, a guy named Ben, without a doubt, without any hesitation, he said, this is King Solomon. I said, okay, well, I'll try one. So I took it, and I was like, I'm, I'll review it, you know, it looks interesting. So I turned around, and uh, that's how I ended up with that in the first place. So, I don't know, we'll find out. It, construction's not bad, the burn's nice. Little jaggedy. Ash ain't bad, but uh, draws good. Especially for that type of cigar. But the, uh, I don't know. I'm, they're gonna, they're, this, this, this cigar is really gonna have to come alive for me to say, yeah, that's the best. <laughs> so, hey, we'll be back. Alright, Cigar Pals, we're back with this King Solomon. Uh, this thing's uh, got the cedar and the, uh, the pepper's building a little bit. Uh, started about an inch in or so. The nuttiness, it, it's, taken, it's, it's got a saltiness to it and the nuttiness. And the chocolate about halfway through the first third starts to develop. It's almost like a Snickers bar. You know, I mean, t realize that when I'm talking about a Snickers bar, we're not talking about a in-your-face mouthful of chocolate and peanuts. You know, we're talking about it's just an essence of. So, uh, I'm not, you know, <laughs> it's got some complexity to it. Maybe it'll build better. I don't know, but it, it's not terribly complex. It's not. I hope that's not, I hope Ben was wrong and this isn't the most complex thing he's got in that shop. As a matter of fact, I'm sure he wasn't because I think I smoked a cigar that was more complex than this So when I was there. But uh, as a matter of fact, I think I smoked the last call and <laughs> I like that cigar. Anyhow, that Wild Hunter, I think, as a matter of fact, that uh, Paul and um, um, Jesse were smoking, that was uh, more of a... Um, that would have been a lot more complex than this. But we'll, we'll smoke it. We'll see. Who knows? It might just wake up and really blow my socks off. Who knows? We'll be back. All right, and we're back. We're about down to that... Uh, I, always, I got a screen over here, and <laughs> I keep point, going to the screen, but the lens is out here in front of me. But uh, we're about down to the band, and the um, ash just dropped. It's breaking off in one-inch chunks. One of those one-inch chunks just dropped in my lap. But uh, it's becoming a little more complex. The uh, chocolatey is taking on a, a bolder flavor in the nuts, and that saltiness, that snickery thing going on. And um, it's coming on, it's becoming a much more predominant presence there. Um, the finish is becoming much longer. Um, finish is 
lasting almost up to the next draw. Uh, so it's becoming interesting. Um, we'll see. I'll be back to. I'm going to take that band off. Let me take the band off and make sure nothing rips. If I can find the end of it, it's got these little. <laughs> Where's the end of it? There it is. There it is. I found it. Up. Oh, that came off nice and neat. Nice and neat. I always like when that happens. We'll smoke with this part on for a little longer, and we'll be back at the. We're going to be back in about a half an inch, and we'll tell you if anything's changing. Okay, we're back at the end of the second third, <clears throat> and uh, that bitterness went away. It must have just been. I must have hit a uh, stem or something that just gave it a bitterness for a minute there, but it's it's gone. The cedars, cedars coming back on kind of strong, um, and the um, chocolate and nutty and sweet, the salty sweetness and the snickery flavor, if you will. Um, it's all mixing to a nice uh, crescendo. Um, I hope that cedar doesn't build too much more. It might become too overpowering. The pepper's still there and uh, it's getting a little stronger. But overall, not bad. It's got some uh, <clears throat> nice complexity to it. Uh, early on, I didn't think it was going to build to that uh, to that great of a thing there but yeah I'm losing I can't talk right but uh, that, that uh, pepper's numbing my tongue as a matter of fact <laughs> but it's uh, I don't know why I keep doing that it's, it's the burns a little off right there I had to touch it up once before and I think I'll touch it up again but overall it's become a pretty interesting cigar we'll be back for the finish okay we've got a little more smoke but we got it's not changing it's maintaining that uh, um, nutty salty um, chocolatey snickery flavor um, the, um, the the peppers about the same as not really uh, getting overpowering the cedary thing that that's backed way off it's it's not that it's not uh, that strong presence so what I have to say here's what I gotta say <laughs> they're not best in show as far as the competition they are up against at the um, trade show. It's a nice cigar. It's a nice cigar. It's fairly complex. It's not terribly complex. And, uh, you know, it's a good cigar. I would buy another one. I think the price point is right around that $10 range, and so that's not bad. So, it's, it's, you know, especially in the steel tube. But, it's been a pretty good cigar. It's uh, supposed to be uh, what is it? Me um, fine to uh, medium, uh, mild to medium, and I'm getting a little buzz. So I'd say that's a little more potent than medium. Um, but it's been a good cigar. So if you get a chance to try King Solomon, check it out, man. It's, it's interesting. Um, as always, leave comments down below. And until uh, next time, smooth smoking.